Okay, YouTube family, we got to talk about it. The close connections with the Prince family and politicians and law enforcement in the city of Houston have now made a lot of people uncomfortable. I broke so many cases of this situation where ties of mob and mobs of ties are connected with politicians, are connected with mayors, and these are the people who are covering the case of the takeoff situation. We thought somebody would have been got right now, at least being six foot under the ground or at least in shackles. If you're a citizen, the shackles, and if you're the street niggas, you're hoping the six foot under the ground, but by versa, nothing has been done yet. Yeah, and a lot of people in the cities was reaching out to me and they were bringing up the facts why we covered the case of police chief Troy chief finer we broke how he's basically aligned with a lot of situations where he was born and raised in the fifth ward of houston he has fifth ward connections to the city we did a situation with the mayor being connected as well and ties to that fifth war everywhere area we talked about how the mayor trying to steal the spotlight and diagnosing three days after takeoff got killed that he got cancer even though he been knew about it in august and all the way well within the september and he has a form of it that's not death it's treatable and he already got treated for it so why would he choose during the takeoff time to come out with that statement it seems like certain people in these positions are throwing us off certain people are utilizing their power to stop certain productions and activities from being done in this case so we're going to talk about connections and things that go a little bit deeper so why don't y'all come deeper in that rabbit hole with me so we can make sense of what's going on deep out here in these houston streets if it makes sense it makes sense i'm your guy dj bless one i need y'all to know what to do salute to the i smoke hip-hop nation i need y'all to hit that like button hit that notification bell and come rock out with us also show some love to the good brother pesh pesh mayweather man right here in the flesh man i've been doing videos all day i barely could talk but i'm gonna do this final one for y'all man salute the pesh mayweather's instagram as well go hit up that man right quick but we gotta cover the news in the right way so before we get started let's uncover some of the things we broke down now we seen the mayor's interview with the police chief of houston and we just thought something was fishy from the get-go because a lot of people started hitting me up reaching out to me telling me bless one you don't know anything about this mayor and police chief their connections with alleged mobs and all that goes very deep we have to say alleged because we know everybody's going to deny these accusations and allegations but we substantiated a lot of these things well we don't know if it's criminal allegiance they have with these people but we know it's cool friendships a lot of these law enforcement agencies are from the fifth ward we've shown that already these mayors are taking photogenic picture moments with these guys let's get into it let's get into the famous interview first that broke down everything that had us a little bit uncomfortable with who these characters are personally sad starting with the mayor sylvester first over the last several months is that I'm concerned with this age group, this young group between 16 and 24, let's say 16, 24, 16 and 30. Uh, there, there are too many uh, young men of color uh, that are killing young men of color. And we need, do need to have that conversation. We do need to deal with it head on. Um, this was a private party, private event coming at the end and then we have the shooting and now one person i mean it was a private party with all of the people that he was close to not everybody that he was close to but a lot in there the mayor knew them the mayor seems to be one of these guys that just want to be part of gang 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 and this guy over here the police chief he's the bigger one who wants to be part of gang 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 because he does all this soliloquy and and you wouldn't even know he got ties out here to the fifth ward listen to him um, based on what people say about him he's well respected non-violent i would not expect him to be involved okay but i do want to wait and uh, on the investigation but we have no reason to believe that he was involved in anything when he adds that part, I do want to wait on the investigations. Do you guys have any 
confidence in him and the mayor now that we know their ties and not only that we broke uh, 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 out the fishy wishy washy with this man's own wife exposed him this is the weirdest case of domestic violence or domestic dispute between a marriage I've seen in my life. There ain't no hitting or nothing allegedly. It was over a Rona 19 test. She wanted him to get tested, so she called the cops on him and didn't want him to come back in the house. But when you read it, go watch the video I uploaded, y'all. We're not gonna go through this right now, but you can pause this. She talks about how he's not above the law, as if like he always did things to try to be above the law. This is the gentleman who's gonna solve the case of take off none of us are assured nor feeling protected by this man nor the mayor of houston all these dudes seem dirty i have to be honest man i'm sorry y'all i have to be very honest they seem to be going for a political careers right now they don't seem to really care much about takeoff this is about them being in the limelight them seeking that attention because these are the cases that break your career or make your career and they're going for their careers right now like i mean look at his connections man to the fifth he lost nephews in the streets too before who knows what type of retaliations he was involved in so when i look at the mob this ain't nothing against the mob throughout centuries gangsters mafias and mobsters everybody had connections and dealings with politicians and lawmakers and also policemen this is factual this is not exaggeration so for throughout the centuries every single nation on this god-given earth has been doing this this is how you substantiate power and dominance and protection to the highest degree so when i see this the family and friends need to know about these connections they need to see what's going on so they can understand if they have any insurance in these people solving the crimes for their families and relatives and not just for takeoff to anybody in the city who knows certain things going on i'm not telling you i'm the police or nothing i haven't told on anybody in these videos but i have been doing exclusive uh, of factual informations that can't be broken and some opinionated but the ones that are facts i've been telling telling you their facts and showing you the other ones that are opinions is up for you to decide how do you feel about the situation do you think that police chief Troy Finner should be investigating the takeoff murder do you think the mayor since he's going through so-called cancer right now alleged do you think he should be covering down on the police department especially with his connections and being seen doing the most with everybody at the table with mobbing them me personally i'm just asking y'all that should the mayor be involved as well i think all of them should relieve themselves from this case and situation they don't have to resign from their positions but escort yourself on out from this case from this situation we don't trust any of y'all you guys are wishy-washy there's nothing about them that seems comfortable enough where i can get assured and assure all of y'all this is the right way to go look man i am your god dj bless one man love your family love your kids and stay blessed i love every single each and every single one of y'all man love the family and love the kids man stay blessed for real man i smoke hip-hop nation y'all my heart right now man uh, I, I got all my energy on y'all right now, man. Look, I can't tell you to stay dangerous if you're staying safe already, man. Copy, check, over, and out.